Okay, so y'all saw me make tabletop or number seven, and some of you were like, hey, um, where's the backing? It does come with backing and binding. However, here's the dealio. I don't do binding. My mom does my binding. So I'm gonna show you a different way to put a backing on a real simple table runner that you can do today. Okay, step one, take your backing fabric. You're going to lay it pretty side up just to make it easy. And then we're gonna lay the other on top. Just watch. Okay, so I'm gonna trim off this excess, but I'm not gonna trim off this excess. So I'm just gonna line my ruler up here at the end and I'm gonna snap it off when it's a little bit square. Just like that. Next, I'm gonna go over to my machine and I'm gonna stitch a line on this side. Now remember, these are laying pretty side to pretty side. And then I'm gonna do the same on this side but I'm going to line it up right down here. So it's gonna make a tube. Okay, so I've sewed one side. Now I'm going to iron it, and then I'm going to come back, and I'm gonna sew just like this up along the other side. I'm actually gonna pin it. So remember, this is pretty side to pretty side, right in there, and you're going to love this, I promise. Okay, so I've got this tube. Now I'm going to turn it right side out. This is where your ironing is going to come into play a little bit and we're going to iron it out and you're going to have just a little bit of this edging showing. One thing that's super important when you do what I'm about to do is go ahead and trim up if there's any bit of this that's off just so that it's real even on the ends. Now I'm going to fold this right sides going out. Now, some of you are gonna be like, I know what she's gonna do. And I'm gonna go stitch right along this edge and stitch right along this edge, just up the top. So I'm gonna throw a little pin in it so that I remember where I'm going. Throw another little pin in it so I remember where I'm going and I'll be right back. Okay, so you have it all sewed together. We're gonna poke it out. Now I'm just using my fingers because I don't have my stiletto down here or any of my pokey things. Poke it out real good and you'd lay it like this. Now you might throw a decorative stitch up the side or a button right here, it always looks really cute and you've got a great little tail runner. But let me show you another way. Okay, so this is literally the exact same runner. I, I literally just cut off the end. I'm gonna fold it like this, this time. And I am going to sew right up this seam right here. I'm gonna throw a little pin in it and we're gonna go do that. Okay, so now I've sewed it this way and I'm going to poke it out the opposite direction. Again, I don't have my little pokey things. Poke them out both sides. It'd look better if I had the little pokey things. And ta-da, that's even cuter. I like it this way. So I just showed you two different ways that you could finish off this cute little table runner without doing a binding and a backing. Now. This way is probably my preference, just because it has that great little pattern all the way down. It's gonna look great on my table.